What's happening, guys? So if you've ever logged into WooCommerce and you're like, oh my God, I can't believe there's a new outdated something and I don't even know what it's going to do. If I try to update it, it might break everything. And it says something about theme files and child theme files. And it says that you, you know, basically it's not compatible any longer with the current version and you need to update the theme files to something else. That gets all pretty scary. And for a long time, I looked at that and I was I was terrified. I didn't want to, especially on a big e-commerce site, I didn't want to like break the site. So um, it took a little getting used to, but I have a proven method I'm gonna share with you that has gotten me through the years now of working with this type of thing. And it's really not as scary as I once thought it was. So I'm gonna show you exactly step-by-step how to update the, the core files for your WooCommerce plugin and how you can create little backup safety nets along the way. So if anything goes wrong, all you have to do is copy and paste and you're back in business right where you left off. Now, of course, make a backup copy. We always say that. I tell people to do that. A lot of people don't know how to make a copy of their website or a backup copy. If you contact your host, usually there's a way to do that. And I have other videos on how to back up a site. Uh, so you can check those out. But let's just dive right in. So if you're landing on your dashboard and you see some message like, actually, let me go back to my dashboard here. If you're landing on your dashboard and you see something like this, your theme contains outdated copies of some WooCommerce template files, right? It's That's the part. Um, and how do you fix this, right? So you go to... Uh, view affected templates. And <clears throat> what we're going to do is we're going to ignore a bunch of stuff. Uh, and I'm going to tell you why as we go through it. So here it tells me, hey, you need, you, there's a new uh, version of WordPress available. Of course, I need to get to that and update this uh, soon. And then if I scroll down, it'll show that there are all of these installed versions not tested with you know, th these are basically a list of active plugins that they're telling me, we don't know if it's going to work with WooCommerce or not. Um, in, in this case, I pretty much ignore this because if the plugin breaks, I've got a different issue than whether it's the WooCommerce and the, you know, not being compatible. Usually it's going to show up in other places. At least that's been my experience. So I kind of, uh, I tend to ignore these because this means I, I have to find a new product bundles, uh, plugin that's going to work. And there's just, if, if the user is used to this, right, then they, they don't want to always switch away. So as long as everything is functioning, people are able to buy stuff and check out, then I'm not going to worry about it uh, too much. But when you get down to this section here, where it talks about templates it, and, and you see something like this, it says, Hey, uh, this version 3.6 is out of date. The core version is actually now 4.3. You need to update this. This is what I'm talking about. How do you fix this? Well, if you click on the, the uh, learn how to update, it gives you a bunch of information. And if you start reading through this, which I've already read through it for you. So, um, it, it I don't know that it's always clear for the average person. I know it wasn't for me the first time I looked at this. I'm like, well, uh, I don't know. I'm not sure exactly how to do this. Um, so essentially, here's what you do. You're going to go to WooCommerce uh, uh, 4.3. I think it was said 4.3 core versions 4.3.0. All right, so now we're in WordPress. We can see WooCommerce. This is the version 4.3.3. That'll work for us as well because it's part of the 4.3.0. Uh, we're gonna hit download. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a new folder. And in this folder, we're gonna create uh, WooCom uh, 4.3.3. And I'm going to drag this over here and drop this in here. Then I'm going to open it and we're going to uh, unzip that. We're going to extract this to the same folder. WooCommerce is kind of big and bulky, so it takes a few minutes. I'm going to go ahead and pause this while it's downloading so you don't have to. All right, so that finally finished. It took a little while. 
And essentially what you want to do is you want to go in here, you'll see all of the templates and you're going to be looking for the template that they tell us that we need to change, which is, let me close some of these here. Don't need this any longer. So we're looking for the single dash product dash reviews dot PHP. And we can see that single dash product dash reviews. That looks like the culprit there. So now you can open this in a notepad file or you can open it in, um, I'm actually using sublime text and it's a little text editor. The only nice thing with using a text editor is that it makes the colors kind of like pretty and easier to distinguish. You're going to see what that looks like in just a moment. So we'll go ahead and open this. And you can see, uh, you know, like it just makes it a little easier to read rather than putting this in a notepad file, which would look like this. All right. See, it's much harder to kind of like sift through what I'm reading here. But you can definitely do it this way. If you want to, if you have a notepad file, you can uh, open it like that. So, um, so now what we want to do is we want to actually go into the theme files for this website. We're going to go to theme editor and we're going to look for the same file. So we're going to go to WooCommerce. Uh, let's go to see if it's under single product dash reviews and click on that. You might get a warning uh, when you go into the theme editor that tells you, Hey, you're about to do things, horrible things to your website <laughs> and you have to agree to it. That's fine. Um, I'm going to show you exactly how I do it. So I don't mess anything up. So you can see this is 134 lines of code, right? And if you hit control a or command a on a Mac, you can actually highlight everything in this file and control C. Now I have a copy of it. And what I like to do is I like to go over to my sublime text or to a notepad file. I'll hit a note. I'll, I'll just essentially open a new one and I'll paste it in there. And now I have this backup, you know, just in case something happens, um, I can restore from this, right? So you can just save this. Um, I'll save this, save as, uh, I'm just going to put old, uh, what was it? Single dash product dash reviews product dash reviews. Can't type dot PHP. Uh, and oh, and it was the version, I think it was 3.6. It's, it's in here. But I'm going to put that in there as well, just so I, I know which one it is. And then I'm going to go over here and I'll go to the WooCommerce. Uh, actually don't save it. Just save it somewhere uh, else, possibly uh, like a folder that you have for either your website or somewhere else. Cause we're going to actually delete this folder. There's no reason to keep it after we're done with it. So I'm just going to save it to my desktop for now. So now I have this copy and if anything goes wrong, um, then I can just put it in there. So now what I'm going to do is, uh, Hit control A. I'm going to copy all of this and copy everything. So control A or command A, you can delete it. And now we're going to put in the new one. So we'll go to single dash product dash reviews dot PHP. The one we just downloaded, I'm going to copy this one. And you're going to see that we have 145 lines of code and up at the top, it's going to tell us, Hey, this is the version 4.3.0. So that is it. All you're going to do now is you're going to update the file and you're going to check your site make sure that everything works well. And, um, if you're using caching plugins or you're using Cloudflare, you're going to want to clear your cache, clear your Cloudflare cache if you're using that. And then, you know, check your site, go through the process of, you know, looking at, uh, you know, like walking through purchasing something, get to your checkout cart, make sure everything is looking good. And if it's not just go back to that file, grab it, paste it back in just like we just did. And everything will go back to the way it was before. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure to like, and subscribe if this helped you. And I will catch you 
I can't, I'm still trying to figure out how to use my fingers. I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching.